Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to bind to events on DOM elements in Angular. We often need to program our application to react to user interactions, and we can use event binding to achieve this. A few examples of when events are fired are when a user clicks a button or presses a key on a keyboard. With event binding, we have the option to call methods in the component class when an event gets fired. So I'm going to um, start coding and show you a few examples. So I'm going to go to my project here that I've just created and go to app component HTML. Let's delete all this placeholder content. And I'm going to create a button that says click me. And I'm going to um, attach an event handler to this. So in brackets, I'm going to type in click. And in speech marks, I'm going to type a method name. So I'm going to call this on button click. And save that and go to the component class we can delete this and we can create a method called on button click and we can uh, show an alert that says you just clicked a button. Save that and we can serve this in the command line. We can do ng serve to serve our application. Okay, so once the live development server is up and running, we, we can go to localhost 4200. And we have our button here that we have defined in our template. And when we click the button, we now get an alert that says you just clicked a button. So we have just created an event handler and attached that event handler to the click event on this button. So if we can put any code here and it will run when we click this button here. So if I do console.log hello world, That will now run when I press this button. So I'm going to inspect and go to the console. And when we click this button, we now see Hello World is printing to the console. So we can attach events to any valid HTML event on HTML elements such as button. OK, so we're going to, we're going to go to the template and we're going to create another event listener. And we're going to attach it to the mouse over event. And we're going to say on button mouse over. And in the component class, we're going to create this method. Like that. And here we can do an alert saying mouse over. We now get an alert each time we mouse over this button. There we go. Okay, so there's a ton of events that you can listen to and you can actually find them online by searching HTML events and yep, JavaScript events. So there's a list. Okay, so here's some common HTML events. So change, click, mouse over, which we've just used, key down and load. And you have to bear in mind that when you're working with Angular, you don't need to put it on. So you just put the change or the click or the mouse over, not the on, okay? So for example, on key down, you just put key down or on mouse out, you just put mouse out. Uh, so let's see if we can find a list. JavaScript event lists event reference on MDN. This is probably the best reference you can get. And yeah, here we go. So here we have events that don't have on. So here you'd actually use the event name and uh, because there's no on prefixed. So yeah, you could use scroll, resize, key up, key down, key press, uh, click, and all of these you can use in Angular just by surrounding it in brackets, and then calling a method within these speech marks. Okay, so now we can go and try something a bit more advanced. Okay, so let's create an input of type text, and we're gonna create a, um, and, and we can set the value, actually, we won't set the value. So we have an input of type text, and then I'm going to create a button. 
and on click of this button, I'm going to say on click and I'm going to go to the component class. I'm going to delete these methods here and create on click. And here what I want to do is I want to um, basically create a mini form and on click I want to get the value of this input and print it out to the console. So I want the uh, input value which will be of type string and I want to do a console.log input value but we have to find a way to pass in this input value to the on click method in this event handler. So what we can do is we can create a template reference on the input by just calling it hashtag input. So that will create a template reference variable called input that we can now use in our code. So we can put here input.value, save that, go to our app and actually let's say, um, let's put uh, some text in this button here. So let's say uh, click or, um, or submit. We can put submit, um, save that, go here and we have our small little form here and we can type something in. So I'm gonna say hello world and press submit. And now we get it printed to the console. So whatever text I put in here, I can press submit and it will then print out the console. One, two, three, submit, ABC, submit. There you go. So that's how you do something a bit more advanced with the inbuilt events on HTML elements. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. See you next time.